And welcome back one and all, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Neverwinter Nights 2 where we left off last time we were exploring the Bone Nasher Lair. It's going fairly well so far, we're killing everything, we can rest which is probably a good idea and we don't need to go back down this hallway because this is where we came from, that would be silly. Why would we do that? Because I am directionally challenged apparently. So let's go in here. There is a chest. No enemies, it looks like, hopefully. So we're not going to blow it up with lightning or fire. Again, like the 900 other chests we've blown up with fire and lightning. Uh, so DC 31, so we need a plus one. Or plus, plus one, a plus six thief tool for it. Luckily we have some of those lying around. We need a knock spell. So next level that Kara gets, that she can get level three spells, we're going to pick up knock. We have a book called The Fundamentals of Terrible Destruction and a Potion of Cat's Grace. I'm not sure if that was worth the plus six toolbox, but you never know. I can't remember what those books do very well. That is one thing I don't recall. So, oh, we're at the boss. Let's quickly save here. You can clearly see it's the boss because he's willing to talk, at least initially. Impressive. Even as prepared for an attack as we were, you were still able to fight your way here. Before I kill you, tell me, why have you invaded my clan hold? I have come here for the human you've captured, where is he? So the human is of more value than I was told, I must inform Logram of this. As for you, let us see how you do against the best of my clan. Guards, attack! They're not very good yet. I'm not super impressed with the best of his clan. I think the less best of his clan did better than me, or better against me than these ones did. Alright. I guess we're going to face off against the enemy now, the big bad. Possibly. There's a chest in this room. That's a lot of traps. With a plain katana. And... I don't know if we can actually disarm these. Oh, we got that one. Cool. How about this one? Awesome. We are doing great. What do we need for this one? 29, so plus 3 one will work just fine. We desperately need more lockpick skills, but... You know, just don't have time. What is that? Oh, it's a spike trap, right? Okay. A scroll and an emerald. Luckily, we can buy more lockpick traps or lockpicks later on, which is fine. Uh, let's quick save again. Because we picked up some items. I'm just walking over all the traps, because apparently my reflex save is top-notch. Actually, my, all my saving throws are pretty good for our level. Ow. We got hit by our own fireball for way more damage than any of the enemies have done to me. Alright, well let combat wear off. We'll quickly rest again to get our hit points back from the uh, friendly fire damage we took. Because it was quite extensive. And we'll uh, go take a look at what our enemy has planned for us around the next corner. Looks like... Nothing. Why do you continue to hound me? I am Yasog. I cannot die. Don't be so sure about that. Holy crap, that hurt. Guys, do you want to get in on this fight? Anytime? Ow. My main character may actually die against this guy, because he hits really hard. No, spare me, my tribe still needs me. I'm gonna lie and say I'll spare your life if you tell me what I need to know. Years ago, in my youth, I would have embraced death. There was no higher glory than to die in battle. But times have grown more desperate for my people. The humans grow strong and send their men to slaughter our warriors. It has fallen to we elders to train our warriors, to teach them of our ways, and should I fall, that knowledge will be lost forever. 
Spare me. Allow me to leave, and I shall answer your questions. Where's the emissary? Ah, oh, yes, the human. He is here. I should have known our attack would not go unanswered. So you haven't killed him already? Chief Logram has given my clan the privilege of guarding the human until his forces arrive to bring him back to his stronghold. I only know that this human was to be turned over to other humans from the north, the ones from the pirate city, Luskin. Where can I find Logram? His lair is hidden, even from his warlords. I only know that his men always travel deep into the mountains to the southeast when they return from their raids. I've heard that someone else is in the mountains attacking the orcs. Ah yes, Katomak, the orc slayer who has plagued us for almost a season. He strikes swiftly, then disappears into the mountains. Many of our finest warriors have fallen to his sword. It is said no blade can harm him, and he embraces battle like one who wishes to die. And if it were not for this Cattlemack, the humans never would have been able to take our well. He is a curse upon our tribes. I've heard enough, I'm going to kill you now. Then you shall see how tr a true Orc warlord dies, fighting to the death. I'm afraid I can't let an Orc leave. I'm also taking your axe and your chainmail. And two of my people are confused? Really? Why? What confused them, I wonder? Let me rest. Oh god. Fluffykins is gonna kill our druid. <laughs> Fluffykins is gonna kill its own master. That's pretty much what's going down right now. I shall see if he can do it. Totally can. <laughs> and then it unsummoned it. I guess that's one way to take care of confusion. Everybody back up, let's rest and we'll get our beast back out. I am listening. And then we're gonna finish up this cave. What do you want? We're almost done. I think we should have this hallway to go. Cause the emissary is here. His name is Man. Excuse me, man, there's a treasure chest with my name on it. Don't hurt me. I'm not in league with the orcs. Who are you? I don't know you. Who sent you? Are you here to kill me? We come from Neverwinter. Ah, then I can trust you. I am Asani, emissary from Waterdeep. I must thank Lord Nasher for sending a rescue party so quickly. This doesn't look like much of a prison to me. I believe the warlord of this lair wished to keep me close so he could watch me, and this was the only room available. But do not let the surroundings fool you. The orcs clearly intended to harm me. I am fortunate you arrived when you did. But what are you doing here and how did you find me? I'm here to escort you to Neverwinter. Ah, oh, then I can trust you. I already said that. We don't have time to talk. You must come with us. I cannot place you in further danger. You have already risked too much to rescue me. With the way clear, I am confident that I can make my way safely to your city. And to be honest, I travel much faster alone. If the Lords of Waterdeep had not insisted I travel with an escort, I believe I could have eluded my orcish captors. I have a job to do, and I mean to see you safely to Neverwinter. Brave and dutiful, a rare combination. I assure you, however, that I am not entirely helpless, says the man kept prisoner. I could not leave this place without having to battle my way through an entire tribe of orcs, which I did. However, in the open, I shall prove a much more difficult quarry. You're coming with me, and that's final. If you insist, then I'm happy for the companionship. If you can keep up with me, I shall be moving quickly. Don't worry, I'll keep up. This doesn't feel right to me. I don't trust him. There's a simple way he can prove it. He should have his credentials. Of course, unfortunately, the orcs took them from me. I'm gonna bluff. Well, then. How about the name of your contact? I'm sure you were told whom you were to meet. Ah, oh, yes, my contact from Neverwinter. Is he here with you? Now I know you're lying. Who are you? Search the entire lair if you wish, but I believe the orcs already have destroyed my credentials. It'll be safer if I just kill you. Waterdeep can always try to send another emissary. Reckless but effective. Very well. My name is Olav, and this tire of tiresome charade ends now. I knew he was lying. Goodbye, Olav. I'm taking all that before she blows it up with lightning. Alrighty, so we have some bracers of armor. Those are pretty fancy. Let's take a look at them. And a kukri of plus two-ness. Those bracers did help a little bit, and our concentration has gone down, but who cares. They gave us, what, plus two armor? Not bad, not bad at all. You might be wondering why it didn't give us the full three armor. We're already getting one plus one armor bonus enhancement from the 
armor we are currently wearing. So, let's go back to old LOL currently. Because we have to tell them about what happened. We encountered something on our way to our destination. I believe it is the paladin we were looking for. The Kattelmach. Or just more orcs. Possibly. Hi, orcs. Let's have at it. You know what? That would be a good time for fireballs right now. Go. Oh, yeah. No, that's not a fireball. That's just a fire bolt thing. Fireball, like, right there. No? Okay. It's not like I wanted a sweet fireball to blow up all the arches or anything. Or is kind of a jerk. Well, that was entertaining. Looks like we caught them by surprise for a change. That's a lot of orcs coming down. Just like orcs. They don't know when to quit. Right? Oh, there's the orc, the human guy. All right, I'll be back in one second as soon as this cutscene's over. I gotta go take care of my dog. Hey, those are our orcs. All right, we're back for orc killing time. Apparently, uh, Cattle Mac is facing off against just a boatload of orcs. Let's go take care of him for him. Although it doesn't seem like he needs very much help. It would appear that the paladin is having no problem with him. Dude, you stole all the kills. The Sword Mountains are a dangerous place. More now than ever, with the orc tribes gathered behind Logram's banner. Who are you? I am Casavir, and my men and I have been hunting this group of orcs for days. You're the one that's been harassing the orcs. We've been hunting the orcs here for many months. Recently, we have stepped up attacks, however. When Neverwinter finally moved to retake Old Owlwell, we redoubled our efforts. With the orcs being attacked from two fronts, it prevents them from massing to retake the well. I'm curious, why have you ventured into the mountains? Surely you understood the risk in coming here. I'm looking for a missing Waterdeep emissary. Missing? The orcs have grown bold then, if they now interfere directly. This explains many things. Recent orc movements now make much more sense to me. You believe they captured the Waterdeep emissary? It is possible. Though if so, they've certainly gone out of their way to keep it a secret. My men and I came across the remains of an orc raid on a heavily armed column of troops. I was struck by the ferocity of the slaughter, and that the orcs would dare strike at a well-armed and disciplined fighting force. Did your forces pursue them? We could not afford more losses. Instead, I led a small group and followed the retreating orcs as best we could. At first, I thought we had lost them, but then one of our scouts found the hidden trail to their cave. So where's the lair? Our soldiers know the mountain well, but even they would have missed it if not by chance. If you intend to enter the stronghold of Logram, it is to the north. I can lead the way. Your help is appreciated. And you shall have it. Logram's death will be a serious blow to the orcs. We have lost some men, but I will assemble who I can and join you on the assault. No, Catriona. We have already lost too many, and a massed attack on Logram will only cost us more. I will be going on alone. Casavir, sir, we kept you from this once. I think it's best if... Please, it is important that you do as I ask. Take the survivors and fall back to the Great Cloak's camp. Do what you can to help them and keep the pressure on the orcs. If we cannot defeat Logram, then he will come after them in full force. And the Great Cloaks must be warned. So, after all this time avoiding the Neverwinter forces, now you want me to stride right into their camp? Look, Casavir, let me go with you. There is no need to keep doing this alone. Let us help you. Hmm. We could use the extra men, Casavir. A smaller group will move quicker and attract less attention. The trail to Logram's lair is narrow. More swords will not aid us there. I've seen that trail. If you go up there, you will be nothing more than easy targets. Gods know what guards or defenses they have. You'll be killed. You have your orders, Catriona. We'll meet you back at the Greycloak's camp after we have dealt with Logram. Very well. 
Good luck, sir. Are you ready to take on Logram and his clan? I can guide you to the path to his lair. We could use his help. There's greater beasts than orcs in these mountains, and we may need every blade we can get if we cross paths with them. It will require that I take a place at your side, however, if your group can spare the room. So we have to bring Casavir with us. Uh, he will most likely be replacing Kelgar in terms of a position. Not Nishka. We'll take Kara and Eleni. Who's Gr oh right, our bard. I forgot about Grobnar. Okay. On the bright side, Casavir is actually a pretty powerful character. Yes. He is a paladin. As I mentioned before, he's lawful good, which is not great for us, but he uh, uses heavy armor. He's got 21 armor class. His stats line is okay. He worships Tyr, of course, the god of justice. And that's about it. There's a loot on the ground over there. We should probably go pick that up. And there's also loot where we were standing, which we probably should have gone as well. There's Katriana. Her armor looks cool. I like her armor, actually. Her character model's neat. Gold pieces. Well now. Back to our orc. What do you want? We'll quickly grab this and we'll see. There's a path up there. We're gonna quickly check out to see what's there, and uh, there should be nothing too much else in this area. But we will take a quick look up here as well as around this side of the area just to make sure there's nothing we missed. And up here, actually. Always good to check the surroundings, just in case. It's where you find the best things, usually, in Forgotten Realms-type games. He has 108 hit points, which is quite a bit. Persistent Aura, I don't remember what that does. I think it's like a leadership bonus to everything. Oh, we can't even go that way. It is crossed off. No luck. So let's get out of here. We're done officially in this region. We'll hit the world transition up there, and we will continue on to the camp in question. Now, as you may recall... Whoa. Did I just teleport? How did I do that? That was awesome. Uh, the Eye Gouger Clan is where we're headed next. And we're going to, uh... Oh, we rested, apparently, on the way. And there are enemies nearby. Like a blade spider. Two of them, actually. Three of them. Blade spiders are really kind of cool looking. They're mechanical in origin, you can see. Kind of neat. Also, they are hard to hit, apparently. There we go. We're still so far from a level. That being said, magic takes them up pretty fast, but they're definitely mechanical creatures. And a blade spider leg. There's an orc up ahead. Two orcs. Two-ish orcs. Casavir is not going to be a permanent fixture of our group because he is lawful good. He will not be sticking around. He probably won't ally or align with us too well. Quora, you got this right. It's just oh god, don't die. There we go. She would have killed it to be honest with that lesser missile swarm. Would have taken it right out. And there's a little tiny camp here with a chest in it. Even let's go take a look at the chest. See if there's anything lootable inside. Uh, we need DC 29, which means we just need a plus 3. Which we have lots of, luckily. Or at least 6. I guess that's not really a lot, but it's several. And there's a comma, which we're not going to use. A ton of gold, which is good. And two scrolls. The comma is Hideo's comma. Which is... A plus 2... Enhanced comma with plus two to parry as well. Pretty damn good. There's more spiders coming up ahead. I thought there was a bag that we left behind. 
Possibly not, though. No? Okay. No, we killed the orcs and there was no loot for them, apparently. But Hideo's combat is actually quite nice. The parry bonus is good and the plus two is obviously good. That being said, we have no one that can use commas. Hey, we hit something well this time. They're so weird looking. Actually, if we go, uh... Character mode, we can kind of see a little bit better. And then we'll go back to bird's eye view. We're just going to go like that. So I can actually see what's going on. So we're at six minutes into the second half-ish of our video. There's barricades here. Oh, you know what we don't have? We don't have our... Dog out yet. Not dog. Well, our fake dog. By the name of Fluffykins. There we go. Fluffykins is now here. Are we... Slowed? Did someone cast Grease? It looks like someone casted Grease. We really need cleave and power clear, uh, great cleave, so that we can use our pretty fantastic new class that we want to get, Frenzied Berserker. We're going to get those as fast as we can. Looks like Fluffykins is busy fighting a spider, which he's winning against, along with Eleni and Kara, so we're good there. You're fine, Cassevere. Don't whine. Nobody likes a whining paladin. We probably are going to have to drop some of these non-magical items because they are just filling up our inventory. We do have our little dog. I'm going to call it a dog from now on because it's awesome. Fluffykins, our giant dog. He's just a scaly dog. He has a skin condition. Don't bug him. Don't make fun of him, he has a skin condition that makes his skin scaly instead of furry. He's also approximately 20 feet long. And stands at about down to five and a half feet tall. Actually wait, we're tall for an orc, like we tower over everyone, so we're probably about a good six and a half feet, maybe seven feet. Let's just say that this guy's about six feet tall, give or take. So we're about seven feet tall. So really if we go up beside our dinosaur, he's like... Yeah, you know what? About five. Five five and a half feet tall. But he's really long, like twelve feet long or something like that. At least. Barricade, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we're running, running. That was awesome. Oh, there's a shaman here. I see how it is. Shaman killing time. No, don't blow up the remains. I need whatever's in them. Stop blowing up the stuff that I want to loot. Please. I will admit, though, this area tends to last forever. It's very windy. But there's a crate. Oh, there's a crave there. There's a crave there. There's a cave there. What is that? Why is Fluffykins way the hell back there? Fluffykins! Get over here! You suck. You're the worst pet. It's not even listening to me anymore. I can't issue it commands. That's a big spider. That is a giant spider. I could definitely use Fluffykins. Fluffykins, come here. Come on. Follow along. Okay, better idea. Me. There we go. Problem Step solved. Come on. Let's quickly rest because we have to fight a giant blade spider along with a couple orcs. The orcs are not the problem. The blade spider definitely might be. It's a big one. Alright, we're going. Here we go. Charge, blade spider. 
Good job. Good start. I lied. This is going to be an easy fight. That kind of hurt. It's quick, though. I am missing a lot of attacks. I think that blade spider is about to die, though. 100 experience. Nice. And this is almost a perfect time to end our video anyways. So what we're going to do is we're going to call it off here. Right before we enter this first cave. We killed a giant spider. We picked up a new character. Things are looking pretty good for our group. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.